want to turn your attention now to one of Australia's most notorious roads, the Bruce Highway in Queensland. Somehow, kids are travelling on it every day without any seatbelts. Andrea Crothers has this report. Tragically, if there is an accident, they don't stand a chance. It is a worry, worry every day. There's no price for a human life. It's 7.30 on a school morning in the Brown household. And like many, for Arlo and Digby in year eight and five, that means catching the bus to class. You're pretty much sort of sending them off down the gauntlet, hoping like hell that, that nothing goes wrong. It's a 60 kilometre round trip. Be good, see the savvy. Under Queensland law, there's no requirement to have seat belts fitted on school buses. That's despite services like here at Gumloo, south of Townsville in North Queensland, traversing one of the country's most dangerous roads, the Bruce Highway. It speeds up to 100 kilometres per hour. I just don't get the hypocrisy that you demand on one hand that you must wear a seatbelt and then on the other you're allowing these school children uh, getting on these school buses without a fitted seatbelt. I see some close calls on a regular basis. Simon Chapman travels the Bruce every day. The sheer condition of the highway, it's rough, it uh, breaks up, it's, uh, it's a lot of holes and potholes. He's another worried parent. Fears which grew after a triple fatal bus crash in June, all too close to home. That's exactly the same road that our kids are travelling every day, you know. Road safety advocates have been campaigning for seatbelts for over a decade. Wearing a properly adjusted restraint, that's the seatbelt, can reduce the risk of fatality by 50%. It seems like a no-brainer, at least in the country's biggest states. Seatbelts are compulsory on all school buses in Western Australia. In New South Wales, all school services in rural and regional areas must also buckle up after the government there fully funded retrofitting its fleet. While 92% of Victoria's regional buses have been retrofitted by its state government. With everything there is a cost and somebody needs to bear that and quite often um, the small bus operators don't have the capacity to be able to um, retrofit their buses. After the Trans North Gumloo to Home Hill bus run mat, it was taken to the state government. It approved a replacement vehicle fit with seat belts. But despite repeated questioning, there's been no commitment to take any action on the many other buses travelling the same Bruce Highway at the same high speeds. The Transport Department doesn't even know how many buses have seat belts. Perhaps most tellingly, when asked, the Queensland Transport Minister repeatedly refused to say if he'd feel comfortable with his own kids on board. Sorry, Minister, the question is, would you feel comfortable with your children on those school buses? Safety is our number one priority. This is the on question you're effectively asking those parents to make. Would you feel comfortable in that position? Sorry, Bella, I've answered the question here. Seatbelts could come in under the Liberal Nationals if it wins the October election. My ultimate goal would be to make uh, every bus as safe as possible. Why on earth would you want to make it safe for kids? Let's bring in Nellie Brown, who is another concerned parent in Gumloo, south of Townsville. Nellie, I can't believe all of this um, still going on. Your school is going to get a state bus retrofitted with seatbelts, but what about everyone else? Hello, thank you for having me. Yes, that's a very good question. We are very grateful that we've been told that our bus uh, will see that change with a new bus with seatbelts. However, you do have to ask, why do some buses get seatbelts and some don't? Who gets to choose which children are protected and which aren't? We hear that these other states are making changes mm. um, so that their children are protected, but why aren't ours? It just seems to me um, that, that whenever anyone says, this is a no-brainer and still things get caught up in the politics um, of things. This needs to get done and it needs to happen as urgently as possible. How worried as a parent are you when your kids step on a bus um, where they're not fitted with seatbelts? We're extremely worried. We've calculated that our boys travel 12,000 kilometres a year to just to and from school. Wow. 
um, without a seat belt. So that is a huge distance that they're doing just every year without a seat belt. And when we know there's statistics out there that show that they're five times safer in a serious accident if they can put on a seat belt and yet they can sit there and there's no seat belt available. Of course we're worried. Would you not be worried putting right. your loved ones on those buses and knowing that there's something that you can do and and you can't do it. It's it's simple. That something has to change. This this is crazy. Seems to me these days, country people need to yell louder and for longer to get something done. Well, you keep yelling, and, and we'll keep doing the same thing. Appreciate your time. Thanks for your work, Sarah. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?